Hello and greeting to my respected lecturer and all my fellow friends. My name is Rahadatulofa Binti Matilind and today I will talk about what is the Caribbean. So, the Caribbean is a subregion of the Americas that consists of the Caribbean Sea and its islands. Some surrounded by the Caribbean Sea and some bordering both the Caribbean Sea and the North Atlantic Ocean. The nearby coastal areas on the mainland may also be included. The region is southeast of the Gulf of Mexico and the North American mainland, east of Central America and north of South America. Situated largely on the Caribbean plate, the region has more than 700 islands, isolates and reefs. Almost all of the Caribbean islands are in the Caribbean Sea, with only a few in inland lakes. The largest islands is Cuba. Other sizable islands include Hispaniola, Jamaica, Puerto Rico, North Andros and Trinidad, and some of the small islands are referred to as a rock or reef. So, what does the Caribbean look like? Hi doctor, my name is Zhang Xuyao. So first of all, I will talk about what is reggae music. Reggae, style of popular music that originated in Jamaican in the late 1960s and quickly emerged as the country's dominated music by the 1970s. It has become an international style that was particularly popular in the Britain, the United States and Africa. It was widely preserved as a voice of the opposite. So next one is history of reggae. By the 1970s, it has become an international style. Particularly popular in the UK, US and Africa is widely considered the voice of a precept. In the middle 1960s, and the direction of producers such as Duke Reed, Jamaican musicians dramatically slowed the tempo of Sky, whose energetic rhythm and reflected of optimism that had heralded Jamaican's independence from Britain in 1962, the music style that resulted rock steed was short-lived but brought fame to such performance. Hello, my name is Anshay Norizam. Today I'm going to talk about characteristics of music reggae sounds categories. Reggae is known as incorporate a high amount of offbeat rhythms. These are usually staccato beats played by guitar or piano. This gives most reggae music a jumpy feel. This is an example of piano play a style of reggae. Reggae um, involves the blues, which is basically the 1, 4, and 5 chord, right? And then it also has its own, um, has its own element, which is the rhythm element. Uh, when playing reggae, the underlying important aspect of it is the syncopated rhythm. So when you have four beats in a measure, one, two, three, four, beats two and beats four are accented in reggae. So let me show you what that is. My clapping or my tapping will be beat one and beat three, and then my playing will be beats two and four. So that would sound like this. You can see that we have one, two, three, four. In reggae, it would be one, three, four, right? So it's all on the offbeats. Reggae has, like I said, has its origins in blues. So if you wanted to do a little bit of blues in a more melodic sense with reggae, you would basically have a bass line like this, and you would have the offbeats two and four, two and four, on the right hand with the chords. That's usually the sense. So. Music 
reggae is homophonic and reggae music usually internally formed. Reggae is employs a musical concept known as polyrhythm, which is composition device where different rhythm of the same meter layered on top of each other. I'm gonna show you an example for the next video. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 The tempo of reggae songs from 80 to 110 per minute and reggae usually has a 2 4 or 4 4 meter with a center second knot time signature and low tempo. Lastly, about songs category of reggae, typical rock lined up for reggae usually use a vocal, backing vocal, electric guitars, and bass guitar, and also a drum kit. Hi, my name is Ang Wen. I will explain you about characteristic of music reggae in the context of behavior. Behavior associated with reggae music is important to note that reggae has a strong culture and social context. The behavior associated with reggae music can encompass various aspects. The first aspect that I will explain to you is community and unity. Reggae music has historically been a vehicle for promoting unity and social consciousness. It encourages a sense of community and togetherness. Often addressing issues of social justice, equality and peace. Reggae events and concerts serve as space where people from diverse backgrounds come together to enjoy the music and connect with one another. Next, peaceful and positive vibe. Reggae music is often associated with a positive and laid-back attitude. The lyrics promote message of love, peace, and spirituality. Reggae culture encourages a peaceful and harmonious approach to life, and its followers often embrace a mindset of acceptance, respect, and understanding. The third point is Rastafarian influence. Reggae music is closely connected to Rastafarianism, a religious and cultural movement that originated in Jamaica. Rastafarian belief and practice, including the use of marijuana as a scarment, are often intertwined with reggae culture. Rastafarian philosophy promotes spiritual awareness, self-determination, and a connection to nature. The last one from me is cultural identity. Reggae music serves as an important expression of Jamaica and Caribbean culture. It reflects the history, struggle, and trumps of the region. The behavior associated with reggae music often include embracing and celebrating cultural identity, heritage, and tradition. That's all for me. Thank you. Hello guys, uh, my name is Aaron Dewen Masuning and so I will continue our presentation and I will talk about the characteristic of music reggae in conception. So the first one is reggae music is of beat rhythm. As we all know, reggae is famous for its syncopated rhythm known as the skank, the emphasis of place of the of both creating a distinctive groove. The guitar or keyboard plays the offbeat chords while the bass and drums provide a solid foundation. And the second one is rhythmic guitar and bass. The guitar in reggae often plays a syncopated pattern, accentuating the offbeats. It contributes to the distinctive sound and helps drive the rhythm. The bass guitar plays a prominent role in groove-oriented style. 
and the third one is social and political lyrics. Reggae music has a long history of carrying social and political message. Lyrics often address themes of social injustice, poverty, poly political, and the struggles of marginalized. So, we, as we all know, the reggae music have a lot of they talk about political, right? And the last one is relax and let back feel. Reggae music is characterized by its relax and let back vibe. The tempo is usually moderate and allowing for a comfortable group and an an atmosphere conducive to dancing and relaxation. So if we want to get relaxed or we want to feel enjoy, we can listen to the reggae music because the reggae music more to relax and let back feel, right? So that's all from me and I will pass our next presenter. Thank you. Greetings to all, my name is Atifa. So now I'm going to present my point, which is about legendary in reggae. We are going to start with the first person, which is Bob Marley, who is considered as a pioneer of reggae. Started his success with his work with reggae band, which is well known as Bob Marley and the Wailers, which was formed in the early 60s. Bob Marley and the Wailers were prolific in producing music throughout the 60s and 70s. Even after his passing, his name remained synonym with reggae, with its a testament to the brilliance of his music and impact on the music world. Now moving to the second person, which is well known as Desmond Decker. Desmond Decker is one of the earliest mainstream stars in reggae. He is famous for singing in his authentic Jamaican dialect on classics such as Itmiak and Israelites. And Desmond Decker is the one who is introducing root boy culture to Britain. Moving to the third person who is also a Jamaican artist is well known as Toots or the real name is Frederick Hibbert. Toots gained his popularity for his energetic, funky and soulful vocals. And he is also a teenage who is from the Metals. Fun fact, the Metals is actually a Jamaican ska or a rock steady band. There is still a lot of legendary that you can find in reggae world. But these three people is most of the on top. So that is all from me. Thank you.